Hey guys, Skitze here. Today we're starting a brand new mini-series for the new Total War Three Kingdoms DLC, Mandate of Heaven. In this series, I will be selecting a faction from each category, doing a faction overview, and playing some of the early game with a focus on showing off new faction and campaign mechanics. The Mandate of Heaven campaign starts in year 182 and follows the Yellow Turban Uprising, which are the events that lead into the Three Kingdoms period. For this video, we will be taking a closer look at one of the three brothers that started the Yellow Turban uh, Rebellion, Zhong Liang, General of the People. The starting situation is hard. Uh, he is a veteran of the Yellow Turban faction, and all three of the brothers share this plus 10% fervor for characters. We'll get into what this means when we're actually on the campaign. Zhang Liang specifically has plus 8 attrition to hostile forces. Enemies are within our territory. They're taking attrition, which seems pretty cool. Uh, and all three of the brothers have this enable scare. So for faction specialization, we have zeal, which is a shared resource between all three of the Yellow Turban factions. Um, we gain zeal by getting into fights, especially when defending, and it decreases over time, and we get positive or negative effects depending upon how much zeal we have. The playstyle focus is symbiosis and defense, and we have a couple unique units here, Tyrant Slayers, which is good, uh, strong charge, and good against generals, so I'm really excited to try these guys out. And then these uh, Galleons of the People are a good frontline unit with uh, good armor, morale, and can encourage, which is pretty cool. Then we have access to incite the people, which adds to attrition, campaign movement range, supplies, um, but it takes away population growth and diplomatic relations with the Han Empire. Uh, they don't, they're not going to like as much anyway, so that's probably not that big of a deal. So we are going to be playing on Legendary, but I do have to say this is not going to be a complete... Uh, playthrough, like I said earlier, we're just going to play some of the early game to get a good idea on what type of missions we get, you know, how quickly does the Han attack us, kind of what things we have to deal with in the early game. So uh, let's just jump on in. All right, General of the People. Okay, so we uh, unite with your brothers, defeat the Han. E you know, easy enough, right? Be careful of enemies surround you. All right, so first mission is to just attack this army standing in front of us. That's typical of all campaigns in this game. Uh, let's look at some ancillary. So, oh, we got a nice little outfit, a merchant, and a bow. We start with 11 characters. All of them are mad because, you know, we're playing on legendary. Um, as far as our already equipped generals, we have the main dude right here. He's a veteran, and he has some pretty cool abilities already. I really like these, these uh, building passive, um, you know, bonus things. Plus 25 evasion, plus 25 melee damage, armor piercing melee damage at the very top. And then, uh, you know, just generally good. All right, so we started with a Tyrant Slayer, which is the unique, uh, unique cavalry for this faction, as well as the Galleons of the People, which is also uh, unique heavy spear infantry. I actually have two of them, and then some, you know, G-Defectors, some Archer Gang, Redeemed Outlaws, so, so just some trash character or trash units over here. Uh, so let's just jump into this fight and show off a couple of these units. All right, so we can kind of see one of their guys over there. We'll just slide up this way. We don't want to go through the foresty tree hill thing, so we'll go around this way. Actually pull our generals out front to scout around. So let's have a look. Here is our tyrant slayers. Oh, I can't. I can't slow mo. <laughs> Probably should have thought about this first. Gallant of the people and tyrant slayers. Pretty cool. Should probably make sure we're not getting attacked. Oh, there they are. All right, we'll just bring our spear line to the middle, and we are already shooting them with our, with our archers. So let's attack here, attack here. Right, those cavalry are dead. Just gonna mobilize everyone. Well, that was quick. Nice. Nice axe attack, dude. Oh, we lost six guys. Travesty. Alright, we got some money, and there's our zeal. So, we'll talk about zeal in just a second. 
Um, sure, two percent replenishment. Great. Spreading the word of our cause. All right, mission success. So we killed the guy. We got plus five zeal and five thousand treasury. That's great. Next mission is to take over this town, which is literally right over here. We'll get more zeal and unlock missions to bolster, but bolster, to bolster the strength of the rebellion. All right, so here is the zeal bar. So you can kind of see it's broken out into different chunks, and the biggest chunk being right here. So once it's kind of maxed out here, we get plus four fervor from zeal, and it decays minus seven over time, or each. I guess that's each turn. Then we get plus 10% all damage from all forces when defending, which I, I believe that would be specific to us, and then plus 25% income from peasantry. So definitely want to stack the peasantry here. And the next tick down, everything's kind of lower, except we get negative public order, negative food, negative population growth, um, and their bonuses are not quite as good, and it just keeps ticking down. Um, so I imagine we lose... Uh, zeal from losing battles losing territory and stuff like that we gain it from winning especially when we're defending our territory so the play style of this brother is to kind of be the front line i'm assuming the front line from all the han that's down here that's going to want to come up here and murder everyone's face um all right so fervor here is kind of like a it's a new stat uh and it basically indicates how um how much support you have from the local populace for the yellow turban re uh, rebellion and the higher uh, the fervor will actually spread to um, adjacent commanderies and will uh, contribute to i guess yellow turban rebellions happening in those commanderies so let's go ahead and jump Listen on to this loud. town i think we'll just Feel delegate this one heaven. to be honest yeah it's pretty it's pretty far out in our favor we'll delegate we'll probably lose like 50 or 60 men I, i'd guess 92 terrible all right there's 10 more zeal fantastic we will occupy and aid the wounded here's our completed mission the mandate of heaven the corrupt han dynasty lost the mandate of heaven the people of china now look to you to free uh, to free them from the tyranny of imperial court strike out against the han but beware they still have number a number of warlords and armies under their command they will not sit idly by whilst followers of heaven seek to battle with their subjects. The yellow sky shall rise. Um, okay, so we we got a handful of missions. So I'm going to click through them and, and just go back and explain. So we were given four missions, but I don't necessarily think we're supposed to complete all of them. Especially we, we, we have a set number of terms, terms, turns before the yellow turban faction or yellow turban rebellion happens. Uh, and when that happens, the Han will attack us. So I think we have to pick and choose what exactly we want to do. Like this one sees control of tool makers. Um, there's one way over there, one here, and one here. Uh, so I don't, I don't foresee how we are going to be able to do that one, especially since we're right on the edge here. Uh, so the one we want to do will probably likely be large city or attack Luza down here or make sure we uh, have all three of these um, these settlements, livestock farm, farmland, farmland, which are all nearby. So this target right here, to finish out our commandery that we have, is probably the best next step that we have in, in terms of completing a mission. And it just so happens the balance of power is in our favor here. So starting next turn, we'll march down that way and try and take it over. Here's our court. We have nothing unlocked yet. We have to upgrade our, you know, faction before we can assign any of that. Diplomacy. We can literally only sue for peace. We can't do anything else. Uh, and then the reform. So of course, it, just like typical yellow turban fashion, we have a brand new reform tree split into four different categories. So the first one over here is infrastructure and economy. Uh, the next one is philosophy and trade. This one is military power, and the last one on the right is military doctrines. So one cool thing is, like, if you look at this third one, military power, each one of these reforms actually unlocks a new, uh, a new unit that we can use. Um, if I remember correctly, the DLC actually added 40 new units um, to the game, which is pretty amazing because Three Kingdoms, while I love Three Kingdoms, it did suffer a little bit from the lack of, you know, 
unit selection. So I'm really happy to see so much stuff here. And I'm really excited about this one right here. Can you, uh, this multiple bolt crossbow, which is an, another piece of artillery. I'm really excited to use that one. However, the reform we're gonna choose here though, I think is on this side. Uh, so we have, we started with this one, mandatory drill, which is uh, minus 15% retinue upkeep, which is pretty, not bad. But this one right here will actually give us um, pre-battle deployables, which is also something new in the DLC. So wooden stakes, a tower, and oil. Since we're gonna be defending a lot, I feel like it's probably a good idea to have these because um, you can set it up when you're when you're defending. So we're gonna go ahead and research that. And then the next turn, er, well, the next time we can choose a, a reform, this one is probably our next be best bet since we're gonna be holding the line and probably fighting a lot, the plus 10 replenishment would be pretty good and not to mention another 10% recruitment cost faction wide uh, discount, which is pretty good. I wonder what this building does. Oh, labor communities, okay. So the, the purple or gray building line there. So that's what we select there. Um, so I'm going to play a little quick uh, just to kind of get through and show off as much stuff as I, I can. I'm sure I'll be missing stuff or, you know, making mistakes, but that's fine. This isn't going to be a, a full playthrough. I really I really just want to show off a lot of the faction mechanics and stuff. Um, I think, what kind of money do we have? 13, okay. And it's pretty much all peasantry. I think I want to do probably just supervised construction here. Yeah, we'll do that. It'll kick in next turn, and because we are going to be upgrading this um, the best we can. All right, so let's hit end turn. All right, Liu Hong declared war on Zheng Bao. So I think that's two of our brothers now. War has been declared. Um, so the eldest brother up here has the town. Second brother here took over the farmlands. I wonder if that actually counts towards... Yeah, see... Everything is shared between these three brothers, our zeal and these missions. So we already have one farmland. We're gonna go after this one. And hopefully, eldest brother will walk over and take this one. Um, so we actually got a nice little army down here to feast on. So we're gonna, instead of trying to march directly this way, we're gonna do a little pit stop and attack this guy. Uh, it's pretty decisive. Um, just gonna delegate. We lost 60 guys, and we didn't quite kill the army, so we'll just kind of walk away. But that's another 10 zeal we got. Good for us. Um, I think, I mean, 2% is still 2%. 90 coins is basically nothing. So we will uh, start marching this way so we can take this over. I mean, I'm assuming they were marching this army over here to defend here, so kind of good intercepted it there. Overseer. Ooh, cunning authority unlocks increased provisions, campaign movement range while commanding. I think I'll just equip that on on the main dude, uh, Jung Leon. Yep, I'll take it. All right, so still don't think there's really much for us to do. This will take another turn. Trade agreement. We can trade with our brother. What a great idea. We could negotiate and make him pay us more which is kind of rude, but we like each other a lot. I'll take some more money from you. For some reason, we, we get to argue for more money. Thanks, brother. So it looks like our brother is trying to steal our glory, so let's hop over there and make sure we take it first. We want to complete this commandery, and we want to control our own food sources. So sorry you're wasting your time there, but we'll we'll definitely take this. Uh, we, can, we can delegate this, that's fine. Building that zeal. Our Occupy and a Wounded. Large town, small city. All right, uh, so food, food production. I guess we do, oh, this is all we can do. It'll give us 10% income from peasantry, which is pretty abysmal here. It only takes one turn. All right, we'll do this one, and hopefully the, the construction, um, the mission kicks in and, and we can do the other one faster. All right, we have a decent amount of money. I'm not sure if it's smart to kind of fill out your army uh, quickly because I kind of feel like, you know, once <laughs> once the yellow turban happens, things will get pretty, pretty, pretty much chaotic. 
All right, I think I'm gonna wait and just hold on to the money because I'm I'm I've not not actually played through this, so I'm not exactly sure what happens. All right, let's see, two more turns for this, okay? Oh, you know what? We could go over and take that, but we'd be le leaving this undefended. Yeah, we couldn't. I don't think we could realistically take this city unless we fill out this army. All right, so I think what I want to do. Well, how much do we have? Fifteen hundred. Um, I think I'm just gonna at least start walking this way. See if I can realistically take this over. Um, and maybe raise an army right here. Remain dormant. All right, he will just kind of hang out over here. What am I missing about this? Sure that the following building has been constructed. Large city. Do we not have a large city? Oh, large town. Oh, whoops. Uh, I could keep going. It'll be easier to defend too. I think that's kind of the point. All right, we'll upgrade that. Maybe we'll take a break after the next one to pop these over to get more money. I'm gonna try using a couple of these guys. Maybe give some spear units to this dude on the end. Or these peasant volunteers. They're super cheap. Yeah, let's do a couple of those. We don't want to kill our um, kill our income too early. Dong Xiao just declared war against our faction. Okay, buddy. I'm okay with that, dude. Yuan Shu declared war against our faction. Okay, buddy. Faction developments, provincial coordinators, organized rebellion against a centralized government requires uh, sandals on the ground, encouraging and briefing recruits. We have studied the scriptures and have taken our next steps towards enlightenment. What shall we study next? Mission successful, a bunch of money. Control 20 settlements either by direct control or through military allies. Yeah, I think it's probably a good idea to try and take this faction out. I think this is missing an eye. See, it clearly says Lu Te Lu Tzu Te. I don't know how to pronounce that. And there's no there's no eye here. He's certainly talking about that one. Yep. All right, let's just go ahead and take this over. Easy delegate. More zeal. Occupy. Oh, well, a terrible collapse. Ooh, satisfaction. I'll pay 750 for satisfaction for everyone since they're so unhappy. Yeah, we'll pay for doctors. Because we're a good dude. Uh, Leo Bay over to our east. He probably will... I imagine he'll attack us very soon. Alright, so let's pick a new reform. Oh, it kind of spreads out. So we got that one, and now we have access to more. Like, all three of these. Campaign movement range. Starting in friendly sea regions. Oh, that's... That's less um, less good than I thought. Jade Driller. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll definitely get this one. And then I think we'll possibly take a look at some of these military powers. Like uh, what we can unlock here. So, of course, the uh, yellow turbines use the research rate. It's at 110 right now. So, these ones down here only take four, I think. So, now this one that we just started takes six. So, it's like, I don't know. Not, not the second tier, but they just take longer. All right, so let's end turn. Oh, that jerk. Yeah, I was afraid that was gonna happen. We left it undefended and they come, came and took it. Yep, we lost it. Uh, one of our guys died already. He's too old, couldn't handle things, I guess. All right, so we could technically take this over, but I think next turn he can just walk right down there. Uh, we're gonna have to pull this guy back so I think we'll walk all the way to this edge right here and possibly just recruit some more stuff I guess we need more spear units maybe spear gang see how many archers do we have one two three four maybe a couple more no um Yeah, maybe just fill it out with the with the terrible units there. We at least should be able to outnumber. Oh no, our balance of power is bad against them. Let's see what our brothers are up to. Okay, we got got some four four command uh four territory up here. Taking on Han Fu, good for you. 
Yeah, we need to. We need. Oh, Sal Sal does not like us. Deep in relationship. That's nice. All right, let's get back over here. We'll slowly gain our, uh, you know, replenishment here. Let's bring this guy down. All right, what else do we want to bring in? I don't think this faction has a, uh, a special building. Peasantry income. That's probably pretty good. Plus public order as well. Um, yeah, I think we'll just do grain storage. And then maybe next turn we'll we'll do this. Or we could very well upgrade each of those, but these are going to take a while. We want to get to that large city. Alright, the Yellow Turban Rebellion. It has begun across the lands your banners raise. Each person seeking a brighter future free from corruption. The Emperor Roused has dispatched all his armies against you. The people shall not be silenced. The Azure Sky is at an end. The Mandate War begins. Mission issued, rallied by his brother. Uh, control 50 settlements by either direct ownership or through military alliance, including the following settlements. Okay, so we have to take over the capital and control 50 settlements. And that's how you win the game. So that's kind of the victory condition there. All right, and we started. Oh, it looks like, okay, here it is. Here's a nice picture of what just happened. So it's our tiny amount of factions here against literally everyone. Um, oh boy. And then here's this bar at the top. Let's take a look. Let's see what this will, will give us. Mandate of Heaven. Okay, so this is the like victory, uh, victory conditions. Defeat conditions are all yellow turban leaders destroyed. Interesting. That's really cool. It's kind of like, it's almost like Realm Divided, except early game. Realm Divided from, uh, you know, like Shogun 2, which happens at the very end of the game. So that, that this is pretty cool. Oh, we got some yellow turbans down here. There's Hu Yi. Uh, more yellow turban guys over here. All of you on shoes stuff, of course. Neat. I like it. Then some stuff up here. Very cool. So the more we can spread fervor as well, uh, the more likely the, the yellow turbans pop up, I think. I, I kind of think that's how that works. Um, but we can actually walk right over here and get our farmland back. Definitely take that. Delegate. Zeal. Occupy. Alright, we can, we can pull our fancy guy back down here. Um, and probably... Huh. How much longer is it going to take? One more turn for them. Six more turns for these guys. Jeez. Yeah, the goal was to march down here. But everyone hates us. We're at war with him, too. He's just going to walk over and take our stuff. I think we we really just need to hold on to these two. Or at least that that's kind of the goal. Let's take a look at the map if we can. Well, we don't get to see much on this side. I know when you start as a uh, emperor faction um, or someone loyal to the emperor, you can actually see all of Chan all of China and in, in on those factions now. But uh, this is this is pretty cool. I like I like this DLC so far. I've not done a full campaign. This is kind of just a first quick look at one of the t yellow turban guys. Um, but there's like a clear path to victory here. This almost seems like a, a, a mini campaign, and I know once you complete the Mandate of Heaven, you can continue into the normal Three Kingdoms um, or the Rise of Warlords, whether I call it now, um, basically the base game. So you can, I guess as Yellow Turban, you can win here and then just say, hey, I'm going to be Emperor now and just take over. Uh, at least I think that's how it works. Um, but anyways, let me know what you guys think of this game. Let me know who you want to see next. I'm going to be doing Governors. I'm going to be doing a Warlord, one of the original Three Kingdoms guys. So Cao Cao, Liu Bei, or Sun Qian. And I'm going to take a look at the Emperor stuff each in their own video. I'm just going to do a mini series here. And once we're done with our Liu Biao normal campaign, we'll actually start a full, uh, you know, long playthrough on uh, one of the factions. So help me decide. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. See you next time. Thanks for watching.